Now the uninvited guest who's really on the nose in this suburb. Engulfing residents' homes with an unbearable smell, they say it's making them sick and they want it fixed. It's gone right through my house today. No one wants to be outside right now. Shrek would love it. You can smell it a mile away. A putrid stink residents can't escape. You can't leave your doors open, you can't leave your windows open. Nobody's going to come and buy a house in this area with that smell. And there's only one way to describe it. Rotten eggs, but absurdly vile. Rotten eggs, methane. Oh, worse than rotten eggs. Yeah, and you know some smells that you can taste? Mmm, that's it. And they've been tasting it for weeks. Thousands of fed up residents exhausted by the ongoing odour, a colourless gas called hydrogen sulphide. For Charlotte Outram, just trying to mask it is becoming a full-time job. I'm just walking around spraying spray, burning incense to try and mask the smell. Her 14-year-old son, Jaden, rarely leaves the house. I'm prevented from going on my bike to go uh, hang out with friends, go play basketball even. This here is the source of the smell, the stench travelling kilometres away to surrounding housing estates as well as the Cranbourne Botanic Gardens. So as we were driving in, the road was really muddy and it just, it just smelled awful, like the worst smell I could imagine. I felt like throwing up. The gardens, a popular tourist attraction, also now on the nose. It'd probably be a turn off for people wanting to come in, it was so bad. Located in Melbourne's southeast suburb of Cranbourne, the landfill site was originally a quarry. In 2015, a permit was granted to Stevenson's Brothers Industries for the disposal of solid, chemically inactive waste or construction waste at the site. Residents never thought dumping bricks and mortar would cause this sort of stink. But now they're living with a stench that's moved in rent-free. So when the garbage truck comes, it obviously smells? It does, it smells, but nothing like what we're smelling. There's no way known. Melanie Ryan and her son, Bo, have been breathing easy in Cranbourne West for 28 years, but not anymore. What is the pong? Disgusted at the stink, now wafting into their home day and night. I had the window open all day um, and I couldn't stay in there. I had to close the window and just not even be able to relax in my own room. What's worse is almost everyone we spoke to had a sickly story to tell. They're all crook, sick of the smell and sick in the tummy. I've had some actual nausea, like sick to the stomach. Dry reaching, the feeling nausea, a lot of nausea. And <laughs> what do we do? Another side effect of it has been insomnia. I wake up in the middle of the night and you can't get back to sleep. Some residents are extremely sensitive, even at lower doses, and can smell it even before other people. General Practitioner and Associate Professor Vicky Consarellis. For long-term exposure, even low levels for some residents, it may have a long-term effect. And that includes feeling dizzy, poor memory, not thinking clearly, fatigue, nausea. Vicky says residents' mental health is also being put at risk. These residents have been living there for years and they're now having to uh, experience this horrible gas and the smell and that's impacting their quality of life. But the Environment Protection Authority sent letters to worried homeowners assuring them the smell is merely that, saying there's no indication the odour is associated with long-term adverse health effects. The contradictory advice certainly not settling the unrest. A private Facebook group set up for residents to vent their anger is growing with close to 2,000 members. My newsfeed is completely full of everything to do with the smell that is in this area at the moment. As for council... We don't even have the support of Casey Council. Where's the council? The city of Casey has sent us a written statement refusing to go on camera, instead recommending we talk to the EPA, but locals say they've tried that and got nowhere.
The council's statement said it is aware of the odour and it is advocating on behalf of residents. We need some resolution. We need contact. We need support. But nothing's changed. It's got steadily worse. The EPA told locals the cause of the Pong is because waste wasn't properly covered over, allowing rainwater to pool underneath, generating the stench. It says remedial notices have been issued to SBI, legally ordering they take action. But residents can't wait any longer for the fresh air to arrive. Shut down the tip. Shut it down or relocate it. Melanie taking it upon herself to get legal advice. I have contacted Slater and Gordon. I also let the people on the page know that I'd made an inquiry about a class action. SBI, the family owned and operated company at the centre of the big stink, has provided a statement, sincerely apologising to residents, saying it continues work to address the odour issues by trucking stagnant water off site. Of course, if you move in next to a tip, you're going to have to put up with the smell. But the tip has moved in next to us. I don't want to live like this anymore, no. SBI says neutralising agents are also being applied and that should provide relief for residents in the next few days.